Hey guys, Matty Ice here, and today I have an as seen on TV product review. What we have today is the California Charcoal Peel Off Mask that cleans your pores, it removes blemishes, and it claims to unclog and reveal your deepest clean skin. And it's made with all natural ingredients. It is made with charcoal, clay, rosemary, and eucalyptus. Okay, so it's an activated charcoal face mask, I guess is what you call this thing. I don't know, that's not really my forte. But it's supposed to be simple too. You're supposed to apply, peel, and then reveal. They give you this real... Look, it's like this is made to be displayed on a shelf, and they tell you, get the ugly stuff out right there. This has this little 2.8 ounce fluid tube. I, um, is, is that good for one application, two? Who the hell knows? I've, I've never used one of these before, so maybe that's good for two. And they give you something called a, a cleanser. I guess this is to clean your face. It's a little, like, sample. It's not very big. It's like a Taco Bell sauce packet. Apply, okay, so it says wash your face, apply multiple layers, avoiding the eyes. Mask has to be opaque, so you can't have like any you know, areas that are showing through. It looks streaky. And it says for best results, steam or use a hot towel on your face. I guess to open up your pores so they can get all that crap out. Alright, and then after that you just have to wait till it dries and it does get kind of like you know, no longer tacky, so you're not like, you know, getting it squishy. It actually peels off like they show in the advertisements. And after it dries, you just kind of like roll up the edges and start peeling. So we got our hot wet towel. I'm just gonna put this on my face for a minute and kind of rub it around. Okay, so we gotta work quickly here. I've got my face you know, warmed up with that hot towel. I do have a little mirror here to help me, so I won't be looking directly at you guys, but you'll kind of be able to see what's going on. All right, let's put a glop of this on here. Oh God, this is like tar. Oh my God. All right, hey, it's like face paint. Look at that, so beautiful. I'm just gonna start, you know, applying this like all over the place and hopefully I get enough on here. All right, let's keep going. I got my nose going now. Oh my god. Did they really have to pick this color? This is like blackface. This is not... Say. Guys, I, I did not think this through. I just looked at myself in the camera. I look so disturbing. Oh, Jesus. This better be worth it. Okay. Man, it's, it's kind of hard to get, you know, a nice consistent layer. Because as soon as you start wiping, it like starts like running away. Alright. See, this side of my face is still streaky. This side is covered. I mean, I just got to touch up this little spot right here. And supposedly this takes about 30 minutes to, you know, get dried on your face, I guess. Oh, no. I went down into my neck where I've got stubble. Okay. So i got to get a good gop on my nose because I think if I see any results, that's going to be where it is. Man, I can already feel this drying. Oh, Jesus. This looks like blackface. Could they have not picked a different color for this? We're going to wait 30 minutes, and then we're going to come back, and we are going to peel her off. All right, guys. It's in way more than 30 minutes. It's in, like, 45 minutes. I can barely talk. It's very difficult to move my face. I can close my eyes and barely move my lips, so I'd... This mask is really hard and it is dry and as you can see it's kind of opaque. I, I look like Arnold Schwarzenegger from the Predator when he's hiding in the jungle. My god. Okay, so we're going to start healing this off. Uh, and Hopefully it, it comes off easy. I'm going to just to like gently roll at the edges down here until it starts going. That's not too bad. Oh. It's not going off though, and I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it sounds like tape being ripped off my face. 
Ow. Okay, that hurt a little. It, it wasn't that bad. Uh, okay. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> Alright. Ah, that hurt. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That felt like a hair coming loose. See, I kind of went crazy and went way too far down under my chin where all my... Oh no, this isn't peeling at all. What did I do? <laughs> well, it hasn't hurt that bad so far. I mean, it doesn't feel great. It does feel like it's tugging a little bit at my skin, but it doesn't feel like it's actually... Oh, uh, okay, it hurts a little bit. There. Okay, it sounds disturbing, but it's not nearly that bad. It's it's not terrible. It's trying, ow, ow, ow. Oh, <laughs> that I'm Batman. Let's try and get the nose in one go. Uh, that's not gonna happen. See, not all of it like drying that one spot over here, so it is kind of being like. I wanted to try and like do this in one go like they're showing on the box, but man, that's like really freaking hard. Oh, ow. Ouch. It feels like it's just like tearing straight off your skin. It doesn't feel like it's taking your skin with it, but you can feel like things being tugged out of your skin. Okay. So we're going around the forehead. This part's surprisingly difficult. It, it really feels like it adhered, and I got it kind of in my hair here, too. Man, how am I supposed to pull this off? More. <laughs> oh my god, this side, the same thing. Another disturbing thing, this does not smell good. I don't know what they're talking about, eucalyptus, or, you know. Ah! Woo, that hurt. Whatever got gripped on that thing, man. That hurt, whatever. That must have been some of my hair from my head. Alright, let's go straight down and finish it up. Oh. Let's look at the results and let's see how well it did. Um, it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see this, but the top, you can kind of see it has a little texture to it. It literally pulled out, you can see chunks of hair on this... I mean, there's chunks. You see those little white spots? That's hair. That's skin. It it actually removed a ton of stuff. All right, guys. So we're going to try and look down at this from this angle. But you see all these white chunks? Those are like blackheads or something. This little group that's down here in this corner. Those are actually little hairs that were pulled out. They're not blackhead so it actually does remove hair from your face and then looking at like the cheeks areas they're kind of similar to the forehead there's some you know blackheads pulled out some chunks of looks like dried skin same thing on this side it it looks pretty similar now the grossest part is definitely the nose area look at all those chunks down there it really did a decent job it kind of tingled as it came off. It made a disturbing noise. Oh, Jesus. Look at that thing, guys. That, that was huge, and that was in one of my pores. These big chunks. Nasty. Nasty rats. Oh, Maybe I'm missing out on some. Look at all that crap. So, does California charcoal mask live up to expectations? I would say it actually does, based off what they're showing you on this box. They're showing that it's taking out like all this ugly crap from your pores. I'd say that's it's fair. It does what it says. I mean, looking at my skin afterwards, ooh, it does feel smooth. I mean, normally my skin's all rough, and, but I think my skin feels pretty smooth right now. I think it did do what it was claiming, but let's see what Square says. Ooh, yeah, your face is a lot softer. It feels almost like uh, my skin was hydrated by doing that. I, I don't know if that's one of the... I think that was one of the claims on there that it hydrates your skin. It does feel like it hydrated your skin. And it doesn't hurt as bad as some people on the internet that are reviewing this make it seem. I've, I had a lot of hair on my face and I actually got it in stubble down here. It didn't take the stubble off. That hair is too, you know, 
like thick and it's rooted really well but light hairs there were apparently on my forehead that I didn't even know I had and I had some couple stray hairs right here I took those off I, I would have to say it lives up to the hype I think it's a good product the only um, downside to this it is 20 bucks for this 2.8 fluid ounce bottle now I I don't know how much a face mask normally costs. I think they're cheaper. They're sh they're only a couple of dollars from what I understand. But I think it's a little bit expensive and I think they're just kind of cashing in on the whole it's California charcoal and it's all natural. Well, guess what? You look at the ingredients on the back of this that it's claiming it has charcoal and clay and all that crap and it it's got water and, it, and then it has a list of about nine ingredients that you can't pronounce any of the names of and then it also lists what they put on the box you know. so this is matty ice i recommend this product i think you should go on and get yourself one catch you next time guys have a good night